Hello, I'm Jack Prelatsky. This book is called It's Valentine's Day. I wrote the poems and Yossi Abalafia drew the pictures. It's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. And in the street, there's freezing rain and slush and sleet. The wind is fierce. The skies are gray. I don't think I'll go out today. But here inside, the weather's warm. There is no trace of wind or storm. And you just made the morning shine. You said you'd be my valentine. A valentine for my teacher. My teacher's very special, so I'm making her a heart. A valentine that's sure to be a proper work of art. I've worked on it all morning, so it should be ready soon. I'd like to slip it on her desk before this afternoon. It's colored in with crayons and it's trimmed with paper lace. It has flowers, hearts, and cupids. I can't wait to see her face. A valentine for my best friend. You are rotten. You are crummy, nasty, smelly, and a dummy. You are absolutely awful. And your breath should be unlawful. You are ugly. You are simple. And your brain is like a pimple. You should soak your head in brine. Won't you be my valentine? Our classroom has a mailbox. <laughs> I made my dog a valentine. I made my dog a valentine. She sniffed it very hard, then chewed on it a little while and left it in the yard. I made one for my parakeets, a pretty paper heart. They pulled it with their claws and beaks until it ripped apart. I made one for my turtle. All he did was get it wet. I, I wonder, wonder if, if a valentine, valentine is wasted, wasted on, on a pet. pet. I made a giant valentine. I made a giant valentine to mail a special friend. I'm sorry that I made it. There's one I'll never send. This morning at the playground, he was mean and made me sore. And now I think I'm certain I don't like him anymore. He pelted me with snowballs. Seven hit me in the head. I'm taking home that valentine to give my cat instead. Oh no. Oh no. She kissed me on the cheek. I'm so mad it's hard to speak. That's a kiss I must erase. Goodbye. I'm off to wash my face. My special cake. It's Valentine's Day, so I'll create a special cake to celebrate. A cake as good as a cake can be. I'm using my own recipe. I dump some butter in a bowl, add licorice as black as coal, then jelly beans and eggs and rice and chocolate chips, a touch of spice. I put in bits of peanut brittle, salt and sugar, just a little, flour too, a scoop or so, and milk to help me mix the dough. I drop in raisins, half a cup, then stir and stir and stir it up. The oven's on, the cake is in, I'm wiping batter off my chin. I hope my cake will turn out well. Wait, what is that awful smell? It really doesn't look too nice. I think I'll try a tiny slice. Yuck! 
It has an awful taste, like gluey gobs of smelly paste. I wonder what I could have done. I'd better bake another one. There's someone I know. There's someone I know whom I simply can't stand. I wish he would bury his head in the sand, or move to the moon, or to deep outer space. Whenever I see him, I make a weird face. Today, during recess, outside in the yard, he suddenly gave me a Valentine card. I wish that he hadn't. It made me upset. It's the prettiest one I could possibly get. Mother's Chocolate Valentine. I bought a box of chocolate hearts, a present for my mother. They looked so good I tasted one, and then I tried another. They both were so delicious that I ate another four, and then another couple, and then half a dozen more. I couldn't seem to stop myself. I nibbled on and on. Before I knew what happened, all the chocolate hearts were gone. I felt a little guilty. I was stuffed down to my socks. I ate my mother's valentine. I hope she likes the box. the fink. Flo loves Tom Tomato Face, at least that's what I think. Tom loves Steffi Sloppy Socks, and she loves Pete the Punk. Pete loves Gretchen Gumhead, and she loves Sam the Skunk. Sam loves Linda Lemon Mouth, and she loves Fred the Flea. Fred's in love with Jelly Jill. I wonder who loves me. My Father's Valentine. I'm working on a valentine, my very special own design. A heart to give my dad tonight. It's quite a chore to get it right. The first time that I cut it out, one side was thin, the other stout. And so I tried to fix it, but I made an error when I cut. I wasn't careful, though I tried, and overcut the other side. But one more snip should do it then. Whoops. I cut too much again. A snip off here, a snip off there, and maybe just another hair. It's finally done, but understand, it's somewhat smaller than I'd planned. It's not much bigger than a bean, the tiniest heart I've ever seen. I guess I'll give it to him now. I bet he likes it anyhow. I only got one valentine. I only got one valentine, and that was signed, Love Frankenstein. Yeah.